Hi, welcome to the tutorial video for the game Kura, Strategy Miniature Storytelling Game uh, from Peter Schultz. Um, so uh, let me just uh, start to describing you the rules, uh, beginning from the starting from the um, character creation. So you have this character sheet, which is also also your reference sheet therefore there are plenty of texts that will help you to create a character and uh, also to uh, to 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 be a reference sheet for you all the time uh, to cover all the necessary important rules okay so um, at first what you need to do is to name your character so I put the name the Victor golden hand then just some details around you I am ex corpo ex military. I have one eye. I have a beard. I have gray hair. Biting, um, bite. I'm binding nails. I'm smoking one after another cigarette. So those those are my flaws and my um, physical traits. You can basically put anything you want. Uh, you want. Um, now there are four basic skills, uh, uh, which uh, you should put uh, four uh, numbers uh, into it. Um, divide between them so uh, five four three two the bigger the number the better the skill so I will put um, five to stealth um, four to uh, to savvy um, three to tech and two to combat so um, I'm I'm good at stealth and I am not as good in, in uh, at combat um, so basically, uh, that's enough for now for the character creation. Uh, all of those, this is a reference for the actions that you can do uh, in the game. We will cover that later. And now, uh, and this is the uh, this is a list of all the gear, all the weapons and cyberware that you can buy. Um, and uh, the important thing that you always starting with a sidearm. Uh, so sidearm is my. Uh, go to weapon for free and uh, you are always starting with five credits uh, but I am uh, I am fast forwarding right now we will get back into it okay so right now this game structure the game structure uh, I will browse up the um, the rule book so you can so we will see where I uh, where I am describing the rules and where can you find it. So basically, uh, uh, the game consists of two parts. The heist itself, which is a tactical miniature uh, skirmish game, where you are moving your character on the grid alongside with the enemies driven by the AI. Uh, and you have uh, several obstacles like those walls and also some, uh, some other obstacles. So we will get back to it later on. So heist is a tactical part of the game, with minis or with tokens. The game is uh, the game um, provides a game tokens and also the grid, which you can just laminate and uh, and paint on it uh, whenever uh, you see it's necessary or when you're preparing the level. So that this is the heist part, and this is there is also a preparation part. It's a preparation for the heist where you are doing some preparation missions. You are always doing three missions before uh, before the heist will start. So let's do it right now. Uh, oh, but after we will set up what the heist is all about. So. Two parts. First part, it's preparation part, which is basically storytelling. You have the skill checks and then you are using those skills uh, to performing uh, skill checks. We will get uh, to it uh, soon. And uh, we just prepare the heist from the narrative perspective. What's the background of the heist? You can see it here in this spread. So your main objective of the heist is to gather 12 intel. Uh, so Intel is uh, anything you need, uh, anything necessary to get the job done. So for instance, physical files, finding clues, sabotaging security cameras. Intel is something like um, like your currency, uh, which show you how well did you perform during the heist. Uh, every time you exiting the heist via its exit area, 
So you are the highest will will consist of several of such levels. This is one level of uh, one one highest level. Uh, every time you leave the highest uh, area level, you can choose to leave the highest at all, even if you do not have at least twelve intel. But this is considered that you fail the highest, and if you fail three highests, your career is over and your story too. So it's game over for you, for the for your character. Um, okay. Uh, also, you can get killed, but when you HP will lower to zero. Um, so this is how you fail. And if you get a twelve intel and you leave the highest, uh, you are successful, and you get the reward. Um, and the reward is twice the number of intel you have in credits. So if you have 12 intel at, this, at the end of when you leave the, the, the level, you get 24 credits for this heist. And it's a successful heist. <clears throat> okay, so how we set up the heist. Set up the heist, it's, it's basically the heist background. So it's a narrative thing, but also it will provide you some modifications for the heist itself. So, at first, let's, let's just start it. A roll 4d6. I am rolling 4d6. And I will resolve one after another. So, the first one is the corporation. So, the corporation, I will, uh, which will be the target of my heist, is 5, which is Arachitech. It's high-end Militech Corporation. And enemies have plus one armor, plus four H uh, HP, plus two range attack, and plus two melee attack, which basically means in that moment when I step into the heist, I will be just insta killed because it's just the start of the game. Uh, the higher the number of the corporation, just the more hardcore modifiers the enemies have. So, but don't worry, <laughs> the game is uh, is recommending to use Omnisense Corporation. Uh, as a first corporation, so let's do this right now. So I am going for Omnisense, uh, which is a media and entertainment uh, corporations, and the modification is that enemies are always soldiers. So we uh, we are using these stats for enemies. Anytime the enemy appear, uh, it will be a soldier. So this is something like a starting scenarios for you. Uh, the game. Uh, I'm recommending to use this Omnisense for a couple of first heists just to get better, uh, just to find out your tactics, your style of play and so on. So Omnisense is for you when you want to just have uh, more calm down um, uh, heists, not as hardcore as the Neo Synth for instance. Um, so yeah, so we have an Omnisense, so we, our target is an Omnisense. Omnisense Corp. Omnisense Corp. And you can just roll down that soldiers only. Uh, then the second thing is pure narrative. So it's additional five. So what be what will be the objective of the heist? So it's information theft. And you have also some examples if you do not want, uh, if you do not have an idea what could it mean so you can steal research data, blackmail material, wipe evidence. Okay, so we will wipe evidence. I'm ex-military, ex-corpo. So I'm there in the Omnisense. It's media and entertainment group. So yeah, I definitely want to just get rid of wipe evidence that they have on my past ex-corpo stuff. So yeah, let's, let's wipe the evidence in the Omnisense. Um... So the third thing, so the third thing is the client. So, uh, so I will. Uh, the four is the rebel faction, freedom fighters. They just somehow want to clear my um, clear my past as an ex-corpo. So this will be our first step, our first heist, working for the rebel faction, the freedom fighters. I want to join them. Uh, so this is my entry. Um, so by the but the rebel faction will give you plus one to sneak skill, which is amazing, because I have uh, I have a uh, I have a stealth, so 
it will be six. Uh, but for this mission. So it's five. And this will be like six because uh because the uh, because the rebel faction is is my is my client and the last thing is five it should be our main group of enemies will be cyborgs which will not the case right now because we have all the soldiers because of the omni omniscience um so uh, uh, so that's the preparation for the heist. We know what to do, uh, what we need to do there, and so on. And here you have also, uh, we spoke about the reward. So yeah, we have everything we need uh, to get into the game. So fine. Now, the preparation. There are some things, some missions you need to do before you step in uh, before you uh, before you step into the corporation building of the heist and those are the preparation missions now, right now every time before uh, before you start a heist you need to do those missions you need to do three missions no matter the outcome you need to do that um, and you are using skills your skills to perform those missions so uh, every single mission has a narrative uh, a narrative background about the mission and then is a skill check you need to need to do uh, you need to you, you need to do to be successful in that mission and then you will see if you get a reward or if you get a complication B depend on your outcome so let's do the three missions so it's 2d6 the first mission necessary for the uh, for the pre heist preparation is uh, 7 which is stole weapons from a cargo ship at a port and to do that successful i need to do a tech skill test so i have a tech of three i am i am uh, i'm taking three d6 uh this number means how many d6 you roll for the check and then uh i'm i'm rolling i will roll and then you will just pick up the highest number you have and i have five and you will see what's the outcome of the of this so I have five, which means if I roll six, it's full success. I get three credits and also the, the reward. And uh, partial success, which is five, uh, I, will, I, can, I will not do the three credits, but I, but I, I, will, I will get the reward.